<clears throat> Cheat up, YouTube. Uh, J Rex in the mix, but um, in the mix, in the mix, in the mix, in the mix. <laughs> but uh, I just wanted, I wanted to make this video to state, um, from the moment we were born to the day that we grew up into an adult, from the day we were brought up into this world. We were brought up to be slaves, pretty much. We were, we were brought up to keep the cog wheel churning, keep everything going, keep everything moving, keep this system going, just keep everything going. We were brought up to be a part of that system, to keep the wheel churning. Ever since we were kids, ever since we were brought up in the system we were brought up to obey, obey authority, do what we're told, um, regurgitate the information that our masters tell us, you know, authoritative figures tell us. We're, we're brought up to just basically do what we're told. Do what you're told, behave, and listen to what your authoritative figures tell you to do you know be a good little boy be a good little girl behave don't be naughty be nice Santa's watching you you better not pout you better not cry you know I'm telling you why Santa Claus is coming to town all of it all of it was for a reason just to make sure that you're a good little obedient worker in this society and that's what we're all unfortunately brought up to be um, you know and it's it's terrible and if if you don't want to be a part of that if you refuse to obey and refuse to obey and conform to this society you are an outcast you are shunned you you could end up homeless on the street without any food you know suffering um, you could end up in jail, and, you know, yeah, that, to me, that, that sounds like slavery, sounds like slavery to me, but we're slaves, slaves, do what you're told, obey authority, listen to what your master tells you to do, and, um, pretty much follow the system, follow everybody else, follow the order, and you are by doing that, in turn, you are rewarded by living. By living, you get your food, you get your shelter, you have just barely enough to live, and that is your reward for obeying and conforming, you know. It's kind of like a, it's a similar way that farm animals are raised, you know. It's ex pretty much exactly the, the same way farm animals are raised. Farm animals are raised, you know, they're given food, they're given shelter, somewhere to live, they're given food, and, you know, they're, they're brought up to obey their masters, and what do they get used for? They get used for their milk, they get used for their energy, for their labor, and eventually they get, they get slaughtered for the meat to be eaten. It, it's kind of basically the same way how society works. You obey, you conform, follow orders, and in exchange, you're rewarded with food, shelter, somewhere to live, you know, you have some little trinket toys here and there, your television, you know, your, your, your video games, whatever, to keep you passively satisfied in this mundane world, and in turn, your energy is consumed, your labor is consumed, and eventually everything about you is consumed for labor and for this system. And it's pretty sadistic. It's pretty depressing when you think about it. And um, that's basically what the, what the elite want. 
They want good little obedient workers to keep their wheels churning. And people don't realize it, but they've been they've been getting enslaved. You know, they they print this worthless currency out, this 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 paper money. They print it out. They slowly devalue uh, the people's wealth. People become more poor and poor, and you know they lose all that wealth. And people basically get to the point where they're just working basically almost for free. You know, they're making just enough just so they can eat, live, and survive. Making just enough for that. And in exchange, they're giving the system their labor, their blood, their sweat, their tears, their energy, giving all of that in exchange for some dwindling currency that is dying away day by day, losing value, and in turn, giving everybody just a lower quality of life, giving them just enough to live, just so they can give them just enough to live and have enough energy to work for the next day. And that is the cruel reality of this system, you know? Typical person's life, they're born into this world, they grow up in this school, they're indoctrinated to obey, not question authority, do what they're told, they become adults, they work, they pay their taxes, they pay their bills, they be a good little obedient worker and keep the wheel churning and, you know, contribute their energy to this system. They have to. They have to or else they risk starvation, malnourishment, no shelter, living on the streets, death. They have to. <laughs> and they get married. They marry a woman or a man. They have kids pop out some babies, you know, those babies, you know, they, they grow up to become another slave to the system, to work for this system, and, you know, just to slave over their energy and labor, and the, just the, the process repeats and repeats and repeats, you know, everybody pays their taxes, everybody does their work, everybody puts in their energy, everybody does what they can to keep the wheel churning. And the elite laugh all the way to the bank, you know. They 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 collect their their the taxes from you. They take your 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 property tax income and you know. And then they they destroy your your paycheck with hyperinflation. And you know they just basically get you working, you know, for for a shitty pay. They 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 trick you, the people into working a, working a shitty job with shitty pay. And tad up on top of that, they they take tax dollars, take tax dollars from the people, so they laugh all the way to the bank, you know. Tax the hell out of the people, destroy their paycheck with hyperinflation, give them shitty pay, and t take any leftover money they have away from them. That is the cruel reality of this system, it's a fucking, it's a piece of shit, and it needs to go, and I hope there will be hope for humanity to improve and get um, better from this, I, I hope so, I mean, my, I, a lot of people in my age group, you know, the, the early 20s, 20s overall, the teens, they don't know what the hell is going on, and they really could care less what is going on. They don't care that, that they're a slave to this system. They don't care that they have to obey authority, follow the rules, and just do what they're told and behave, and be a good little boy, be a good little girl, pay their taxes. They don't They don't care that they're a slave to all this. They don't care that, they're, that their paycheck is being just steadily destroyed day by day, year by year by hyperinflation. You know, they they don't care about all this. They don't they don't care that the fucking that the Illuminati is tricking them into going into these wars to fight meaningless wars to die and get killed so these these corporations can can profit off of their death and suffering, going to war, blowing shit up, getting killed. They're fighting meaningless meaningless wars, dying for the sake of these corporations profits and people my age do not give a shit they don't care 
and it sickens me that nobody cares. And every time I talk about this, and every time my friends dismiss it and pretend it's not even that, that big of a deal, it makes me sick. And this system is sick. And it produces sick people that need help for their sickness. And it's everything is fucked up. And this is exactly what the Illuminati wanted. They wanted good, little, obedient workers who don't question anything. And it's working. Their plan is working. The workers are still obeying. They're still doing what they're told. And nothing is being questioned. The, the cogs are still churning. The fucked up, broken cogs. Churning the death machine. Nobody gives a shit. And the Illuminati are winning. And it's terrible. And it makes me sick beyond belief. And I hope something will be done about it. I know there are awake people out there. I I just look at these look at YouTube. There's a lot of awake people and I that is one thing that gives me hope about this world is that there are awake people and it gives me hope and I hope something will come out of this. Something I hope something will and a, a better future will be created created out of this for the betterment of humanity and its inhabitants and we'll just have to wait to wait and see the economic collapse is right around the corner i'm i'm still placing it on 2016 because that seems to be the date the illuminati expect was what they plan on when they plan on collapsing the economy 2016 and these Illuminati people got the ultimate control. If if you guys want more information on the Illuminati, go ahead and check out Lindsay Williams. Linda Z. Williams. Type him up, go to his webpage, and you'll find all the information there. This guy knows what he's talking about. He's been right multiple times. Um, he's been right about the oil crisis. He's been right about the devaluation of the dollar. He's been right about multiple things and I consider him a credible source and uh, he's just based on the amount of times he's been right so check him out Illuminati are fucked up something needs to be done about it <laughs> but who knows I mean the Illuminati are doing all they can to make sure this rev revolution or global awakening doesn't happen cuz apparently <laughs> I'm one of the people likely to be placed on the assassination list people to be assassinated because I know I'm aware of what the Illuminati are up to and I'm telling people about it and that apparently puts me on the list of people that need to be assassinated I'm not sure if I am but you know according to sources about what the Illuminati is doing there's three classifications people who are basically who don't know what the hell's going on people who know what the hell's going on and people who know what the hell's going on and are doing something about it and apparently I'm the last one <laughs> I know about it and I'm telling people about it and the Illuminati don't want that <laughs> whatever <laughs> so if I stop making videos and I suddenly disappear off the face of the earth and I'm I suddenly die of medical reasons you guys <laughs> might know why <laughs> that's just a guess I don't know. We'll see what happens. I don't think it will happen because there's a lot more awake people like me and too many for the Illuminati to handle, I think. Well, then again, they're building all the FEMA camps, all the concentration camps, education, re-educational facilities. They're building those all over the damn country and nobody seems to be aware of that either, you know, and apparently those have coffins in it coffins for who knows what I'm not sure maybe dead bodies you know I mean these coffins are apparently the size of a human being too this 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 shit's just all crazy but something needs to be done this system is totally out of whack we need to create a better system a better system where people can be free free from oppression free from control and live a life where they can truly live a life free from debt, servitude, and slavery. And hopefully we can live a life like that and live a life that the forefathers of America wanted when this country was founded from the beginning. 
and thank you for watching something has to be done I don't know we need a global awakening people need to find out what is going on you know it's, it's that's where we need to start off first but um, you know we just the system has to end and we gotta do something about it non-participation the the Gandhi method, the Martin Luther, Martin Luther King Jr. method, non-peaceful, no, peaceful protests. I think that would be the best way, but something has to be done. We have to stand up for our rights, and we have to let our voices be heard. Thank you for watching. Peace.